Hello everyone, TechnoSooth Craig Chamberlain here. We are on the fourth episode of the Virus Removal Series. For those of you who aren't playing the home game, we've walked you through doing a complete backup of your system. We've downloaded the HD Virus Removal Pack that I put on my website for free. And then we rebooted our computers in safe mode with networking. Now, in the software pack, we're going to start out with the Comedian. Now, the Comedian's going to do a backup that maybe your system couldn't do a backup in the first step. And uh, this will allow you to do a backup in case that was the case. So just double click on it. This will bring up a window, which is a DOS-based prompt, and the first thing you're going to want to do is press Enter. It's going to give you a joke. After that's successful, go ahead and press Enter again. And this fixes the file associations on your computer. You know, if you couldn't run executables or things like that, or if the virus corrupted particular files on your system that you couldn't execute before, then press Enter again. You'll get another joke. And this is going to run the eRunt registry backup utility, which will do a different type of backup than the original backup we did. It's just good to be redundant with your backups in virus removal instances, because remember, removing these viruses can sometimes damage your system. Strongly encourage you to go back to the first video if you don't understand that completely. If you don't have eRunt installed, you're just going to press enter. It's going to bring up the installation. Select OK. Click Next. Click Next again. Click Next again. Go ahead and go through the normal steps. Click Next. Click Next again. And it'll install, and it asks you if you want to put it in the startup folder. I don't like to put anything in my startup folder, so I said no. I disabled show documentation, and then I click finish. And then I'll go ahead and select OK. Now, this is going to actually run a registry backup. Select whatever folder you want. I just use the default one, and then select OK. This is telling me one already exists, but I'm going to go ahead and override it since I was just testing it out earlier. Just click yes. Now my registry backup is complete. I'll just select OK. And then I'm going to press enter on the screen again. You're going to get another joke. And in this final step, it's going to create a restore point on your system and just select OK. And that's all there is to the comedian. Just press enter again. It's going to close itself out. Now the first utility we're actually going to run is F-Secure's Easy Clean. Just double click on that. Now it's going to be awkward in safe mode because they kind of designed it to be a, a, for a larger resolution screen. You're going to have to be tricky up here. Click at the base of it up there and, and scroll it up so that you can get the accept here at the bottom. Of course, read the agreement. I have to tell you that. And just click accept. And then go ahead and start the scan. Now if a virus or trojan or malware is located, you'll probably want to write down the actual name of the virus, trojan, or malware because later on we're going to actually do some searches and research on that particular infection. But of course, you do want to run the clean, and that may require you to, you know, restart your computer a few times with F-Secure. Just uh, make sure you go through the motions and see if you can get it to remove the, your virus entirely. And of course, this tool might not find it. It may. It's not an exact science when it comes to finding trojans or viruses, but we're going to move on to the next tool right after this to make sure that uh, we can get rid of it if this one didn't catch it. Thanks for stopping by. As always, leave comments and ratings, and don't forget to subscribe and keep going with this series because if this tool didn't work for you or maybe you couldn't run it at all, we're going to move on with some tools that maybe you can. Thanks again.